All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. And here we have a massive simulation. We have two galaxies merging with each other, but this is not what we're gonna be doing today. Today, the question is simple. Could a big enough black hole stop universe expansion? So, so as you guys know, galaxies are moving away from each other at a very high speed. So the question is, could a big enough black hole just stop the universe from expanding. So we know that at the center of each galaxy there is a supermassive black hole. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take several galaxies, we're gonna compare the sizes, we're gonna launch them using this tool right here, which is launch. I'm gonna launch them at the accurate universe expansion speed. And then we're gonna take the a supermassive black hole and we're gonna increase its size to the point where maybe it can stop several galaxies from moving away from each other. That's what we're gonna do today. And of course, this is a pretty big simulation, so it's gonna be very taxing on my system. So <laughs> expect some frame rates, all right? All right, so here we have a brand new simulation. Uh, let's place a black hole, shall we? All right, so this is a black hole 10 million times the size of the sun. So I'm gonna find the biggest star and I'm gonna launch it. Guys, meet Antares. So this star is 12 times the size of the sun. So we're gonna launch this guy right here. Let's do this. Oh boy, that's fast. That is fast. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, is it getting, it's getting closer. Oh. <laughs> All right, so let's do some comparisons here. So let's add some galaxies right so that's one right there and it does have a super massive black hole in the middle here we have another one i'm not sure if this one's bigger or not yeah it does have a different shape right oh my god look at the size of this thing all right so let's do some testing can i have two different galaxies orbiting each other so let's place the andromeda galaxy right there and then we're gonna place the milky way right here oh yeah you can see the orbit there oh boy Oh boy, these are two galaxies merging with each other. Yeah. All right. So, oh boy, this is insane. <laughs> Here's a question. What if I launch one at the velocity of universe expansion? So the velocity is 65 kilometers per second. That is the speed of universe expansion right now. Hold on. Let's do some testing first. Let's launch it at the speed of light, right? There you go. Oh boy. There it is. All right, so it is moving at light speed. It's just that <laughs> um, this is a big, big map right here. So you can see a super massive black hole all the way over there. We can see another two galaxies right there. So yeah, it is moving at light speed. All right, so here we have two different galaxies orbiting each other. And uh, there's a black hole right there. There's a lot of dark matter. And I think we can see the orbit somewhere over here. Oh, no, it's going crazy. Hold on. Let me check on this real quick. Oh, my God. I think you can even see the super massive black hole in the middle. Look at that. Yeah, it's like it has this weird trail. Like it's uh, very volatile at this point. And the other galaxy is just moving away. <laughs> so it seems to me like we can totally simulate universe expansion in this game. Look at that just moving away from each other all right so let's place a black hole here and uh, this is gonna be our black hole it's gonna be a super massive black hole so let's increase the size we're gonna use Milky Way metrics here and we're just gonna crank this up now let's place a galaxy I think this one is the best this is the Milky Way so we're gonna place it right there we can have both super massive black holes there so yeah there's a big difference in size here However, what we're gonna do now is, first of all, let's increase the, the speed here a little bit. Yeah, the simulation is taking a little bit of time, but there we, there we go. Yeah, the, the galaxy is definitely moving away from our supermassive black hole here. Oh my god. It's so weird to see this at such a large scale. It's like, it's simulating a whole galaxy. Holy crap. So let's, let's increase the size here a little bit. So... We're gonna we're gonna do times two all right it's pretty big it's getting kind of big here all right is that enough it seems like it's absorbing a little bit of the galaxy oh yes it is 
Oh, yes, it is. It's absorbing the galaxy. Oh, my God. So that's how it stops it. It's basically disintegrating the whole galaxy right here. Oh, my God. And it's about 300 times the size of the Milky Way or the mass of the Milky Way. And that's about enough to stop the galaxy from expanding. You can see it right here. It's just being sucked into the black hole. And if I double it a little bit more, oh my God, <laughs> it's going insane. It's absorbing dark matter. It's absorbing all the stars. And I think this is, if it's not the Milky Way, it's as big as the Milky Way, right? Oh yeah, it's the Milky Way. There you go. Look at that. Oh my God, it's being sucked into it. All right, so what we're gonna do now is let's place another galaxy right here. And this one's gonna be the biggest one of them all. And we're gonna launch it. So the launch speed is gonna be the rate of expansion of the universe. And oh my God, you can see the orbit right there. First of all, it's gigantic. Look at this, look at this. You can see the orbit. So definitely even the biggest galaxy is orbiting this new black hole. And it's still sucking all of the juices in. Oh my god, this simulation, you can see stars moving at such a high speed, look at that. Just look at that, it's sucking dark matter, it's insane dude, it's so insane and we, you can see the orbit there, my god this black hole is gigantic, it looks so cool, I can't believe it's sucking this whole thing and even though we launched it at 60, 65 kilometers per second, it's still not enough. It's not um, like a, like an exit velocity, you know? It doesn't seem to be able to escape. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna launch another one. <laughs> the, let's, uh, let's increase this a little bit here. I think we're gonna go with about a thousand, maybe a thousand kilometers, right? And we're gonna launch a small one, right? Small one, 1000 kilometers, is that enough? Is that enough to do it? Oh, there's even... A trajectory here yeah that's an orbit that's an orbit right there i don't think it's enough to escape this black hole i don't know i see i see the trajectory there and it seems like it's oh it might be able to escape a thousand kilometers might be enough to escape but i'm not sure we're gonna have to increase the speed of the simulation here a little bit but let's launch another one <laughs> let's do I think we're gonna do, let's do this one right here. You can see the radius is smaller for sure. Oh my God, but it's so big. It's so big. So right in the middle of that super bright galaxy is our massive black hole. That is like 300 times the, the mass of the Milky Way. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I kind of like this. Oh my God, it's sucking all of the juices. Look at that, look at that. Oh, yeah, it's definitely moving back. It's definitely moving back. You can see the orbit. I thought it was going to move away from the black hole first, but it seems like since the black hole sucked in the, the mass of the previous galaxy, it is now... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that. My computer is dying, by the way. My computer can't handle this, but... Holy crap, what just happened? Oh, it's even sucking the other one in. Oh my god. <laughs> it's sucking all of the things. It's sucking all of the galaxies. Even though they were moving at 1,000 kilometers per second. What the heck, man? Let's launch another one. <laughs> Let's do this again. Holy crap. Let's reduce the speed here a little bit because my computer is... It's dying at the moment. <laughs> so, all right. Let's launch the biggest one. Or not the biggest one, another kind of like big one, you know? I don't even know if this is gonna be enough. How far are we from, from the black hole? Hold on, I can't see it. Where is it? Where's the black hole? I can't see it. Oh, it's, it's down there, I think. Yeah, right there. All right, so we are really freaking far away. Like each one of these squares is a ton of Milky Ways. So you can see it right there. <laughs> so in terms of space, we are really far away from that black hole. So I wonder if just because of the distance, we're going to be able to escape now. Okay, so we have multiple galaxies now trying to escape the black hole. And of course, as I said before, the launch velocity is trying to emulate 
the universe expansion rate. So I'm trying to see if this black hole right here is big enough to stop these galaxies from expanding or the universe from expanding. You know what I'm saying? And as you guys can see, we're moving at a very high speed here. Like the, the time frame here is like 2 million years per second. <laughs> and uh, this is insane. Look at that. We still have some remnants of the previous galaxy. And it seems like this one does have an orbit. So it doesn't matter how far they are. It seems like they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna be sucked into it, right? Now my question is, can I launch another one at let's say 10,000, 10,000 kilometers? Will that be enough? Will that be enough? It seems like even at a thousand, they still get sucked into it. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> Holy crap! Is that an orbit? I can't tell. It's kind of it's definitely bending. It's definitely bending the trajectory there, but I don't know if it's going to be sucked into it or I don't know if it's even an orbit. It could be an orbit just super super big. Oh yeah, this one's now getting closer and it seems like the 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 velocities is getting higher here. The suction power. <laughs> this black hole has a huge suction power. Let's increase the 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 speed here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're all getting sucked into it. It doesn't matter. The previous galaxy, the, the one that we just placed is being sucked into it as well. Yep. We There's no escaping this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's try that. Oh dude, it's, it's like... I think we can conclude that we can definitely stop universe expansion because... It doesn't seem like... They can escape this black hole. Like, look at this. Oh my god, my computer is dying at the moment. <laughs> look at this. It's so choppy. It can't even move. Hold on. Can I edit this for a second? Let me see here. Uh, 19.2 Milky Ways is the new scale here. So each square is 19 Milky Ways. So you can see that this is a cosmological scale that we're in. And my computer is dying and I'm actually starting to worry about this. <laughs> oh boy, will this one get sucked into it? Um, we have so many different uh, orbits here and all of those galaxies are dead, basically. So it seems like this one's about to die as well. <laughs> And it seems like it doesn't really matter because if the universe stops its expansion, then it's just going to get sucked into a black hole. Oh my god. All right. Now it's getting sucked into it. Yep. Yep. I think it's my computer. My computer is what's causing the, the delay there. It's like calculating all of this stuff. It's insane. Look at the, look at the frames. The frames are dying so quickly. It's like they drop all the way down to like three frames per second <laughs> oh my god <laughs> all right well it seems like we can finally say that yes a black hole can definitely stop universe expansion thank you guys so very much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye <laughs>